Now, will privately run prisons work for Māori? It's an old debate revived this week by the government's announcement they're accepting private sector bids to build and manage a men's prison in South Auckland. Expected to house 1,000 inmates, it will be built next door to the Auckland Regional Women's Prison in Witty. The contract will run for up to 35 years, and Corrections Minister Judith Collins says she expects the successful bidder will have Māori representation and provide Māori-specific services like rehabilitation programmes. So, do the Minister's expectations mean Māori aren't seen as, a serious, as serious bidders for the contract? With me now is Chief Executive of Manuka Urban Māori Authority, Willie Jackson, while in Dunedin is Greens co-leader Matiria Tude. Tēnā koura. Koura. Willie, you're in support of this. Koura. Tell us why. Well, we're into changing our people's lives. Uh, what we have, and I'm sure Mertidia will agree, is we have a crisis in terms of the, the prisons. 50% of the prison population is Māori. So how do we change things? So, see, we're not into just locking up people and throwing away the key. Uh, Mertidia's got to ask herself, and other politicians have to ask themselves, is the current system working for our people? Quite obviously it isn't. It's working for sensible sentencing. I mean, they're just talk, all they're talking about is throwing away the key and it's about hate and bash and, and all this type of thing. We, we're, looking, uh, we're looking at something different and it's not just about providing haka boogie services uh, in, in terms, you know, for Māori prisoners. It's about uh, changing people's lives, rehabilitation. How do we do that? We do that through proper pre-release um, uh, agreements, pre-release programmes, where we provide programmes in terms of education, education literacy, how okay, and, well, we get, and we get a profile w with some of these prisoners, so so that so that we can monitor them, follow them, all the way uh, until they come out. Well, let's get Matidia's take on this. The current system doesn't work, as Willie says. I think we can all agree with that. But yeah. why not private prisons, Matidia? We should not be making a profit of a racist legal system that puts more of our people in jail than is justified. I mean, we know, Willie knows that that's true. We've all seen the stats, we know that's true. We also know that the corporations who tend to run these private prisons, like what happened in Auckland, the corporation that ran the Auckland Central Remand Prison last time, have an appalling record internationally in the US, in the UK and Australia of making their money by making prisons less safe for both staff and for prisoners. And we've had really good information reported to us from staff who worked at Auckland Central Remand that said that there was less drug testing there, there was poor reporting so that the company could keep its performance bonuses to keep its profits up. Now, whether I agree that our prison system needs absolute reform and that there should needs must be Māori involvement in that if we are to deal with the needs of Māori prisoners and their whanau. But doing deals with corporate crooks is not the way to do it. Doing deals with corporate crooks. You're talking to a couple of these overseas companies yes. at the moment. Are they corporate crooks? Oh, these deals, they don't work, so Matidia yeah, says. Well, possibly. I mean, there's not a great history there. But you see, what do we do? Do we just give up and, and, and listen to Matidia and Calvin Davis? Well, and, you know? to be I, fair, though, Matidia is saying you need reform. Yeah, but we have, we, you know, she knows and, and Labor knows too uh, that... It's not, things are not working. But the, the, what, what are the options, Matidia? That, that's, that's, that's well, the, no, that's the question. You see Calvin well, Davis right. and them, Calvin yeah. and them come out, and Shane Jones and them come out and they go, oh, Māori, you're just into making a profit. This, this is just a load of rubbish. We're into, as a, and, I'll, and I'll give it to you too, Matidia, and I know Matidia yeah. is into changing people's lives. That's what, we, we've got a crisis in the prisons, Matidia. But but Business but 101, no business, I, I, I will give you a, a chance shortly, Materia, but Business 101 is about making money. You make a profit. Well, yeah, You can't well, disagree well, with well, that. Well, Māori's allowed to make a bit of money, aren't they? By locking our people no, up. No, 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 we, we're but not... But that's the perception. No, no, but, yeah, well, that's the perception, but what people have to understand right now, they're getting locked up and they're getting forgotten. When they come out of prison, they reoffend within three to six months because there's not proper programmes in place. We want proper pre-release programs dealing with literacy, education, health, with, with them right now. We want to monitor our people so they have a chance when they get on the, uh, get on the outside. Surely you'd agree with that, wouldn't you, Matita? Do you agree with that, Matita? Well, well but yes, but the evidence from reports produced by the D Department of Justice in the US and by our government departments in Australia shows that 
private prisons make their money by reducing educational access, reducing health access, reducing work opportunities, reducing staff costs um, through providing casual and inexperienced staff who don't know how to manage um, prisoners, and in this country, Māori prisoners. So the, the corporate model is not the model to use. I agree with Willie, we need this reform, but but there's no evidence to prove that private prisons will do this reform, and in fact the evidence shows that they will not. So why will Māori invest our money and our hard work and our time and energy and people into a, a process, a private prisons process, that has demonstrably failed everywhere else in the world? So there is no research, Willie. There is no evidence. Or the evidence, it, it does say, as Matidia says, mm. that it doesn't work. It doesn't affect or have any positive mm. effect on uh, incarceration rates, right. on recidivism rates. So how, how do you address that? Well, well, see, our brief is not to give up. You see, because well, th th we've read all, this, all the statistics too. And a lot of the statistics say, as you know, Matidia, that uh, this will only work anyway. The rehabilitation works not with the heavy end crim crims. But uh, we, did, we, we have a determination, you know, so, so it's about, the, you know, you've meant to get them early and all that type of thing. But, yeah, we read all the stats, but we also see what different governments have done, Metidia. And the reality is different governments you know, have, have done stuff all. Mm. They, don't, they do not address it. Mm -hmm. They pander to the sensible sentencing trust. And, and law and order is part of, you know, all the parties come out, as you know, uh, Metidia. And what are, the, what are they going to do? They're going to lock all the Maoris up. We need to put in programs to change that. Well, let's talk further about those programs that you were talking about yeah. before, education, yeah. health and that. Why can't you just implement those programs now Be under the current system? Because the corrections keep us out. We're trying to get pre-release. So don't we go and fix that? Well, then? well, you know, we, we want to get pre-release programs uh, in right now. It's a good question. But you have to remember corrections, the courts, all of them, uh, uh, their main interest is in locking our people up. They don't have an interest in the rehabilitation so, side. They don't have an interest in, in where they go in the community afterwards. We're the ones who are caught with it, and then we get told by uh, Calvin Davis and them that we're just wasting our time. Let's just sit back and leave it to government. As soon as we come up with options, whether it's the prisons, whether it's far no order, we get the politicians who always have a left wing. It's always a left wing philosophy. Oh, no, you can't do that because it doesn't fit left wing principles. It's a load of nonsense. We so, want to do things right for Māori. So, Matiria, a, a left wing wing nonsense stance, if you like. Get <laughs> well, back no, to I, your Māori I, side, Matilda. <laughs> <laughs> I, look, I agree with Willie that, that corrections and um, government policy has made it extremely difficult for Māori to be involved. The fact is that private corporate prisons will not solve that solution for us. Will it work, we though, have perhaps, no if choice, you have the we likes have of... We have no choice. We... Sorry? So I was just going to ask, but if you have the likes of Willie, JT... Or, or any you know Maori leader sitting at that table, it could work. She, does, she doesn't trust us. No, it is won't. That, is it, that no, it won't because essentially, at heart, at heart, the profit motive behind the corporate model means that um, management will massage the process and procedures, as we've seen what happened in Auckland, um, in order to maximise their profits, and it will be our people who will suffer for it. Now, I, the, the struggles around the corrections department and government policy are absolutely... Well, he's right about that. It has been a hard struggle. But that is a system that is that is scru we can scrutinise, uh, we can hold to account. We have some control as the public and as Māori. We have no control over the, pub the corporate sector or the, pu the private sector. We won't know the details of the contracts. We won't know whether they're massaging the process to maximise their profits. We won't get the information we can get out of the corrections department. Um, through the public process. So if there was any way we can make the reforms that Willie and I agree must be made, it can only happen through the state sector. It will not happen through corporate, international corporate companies running prisons here in Aotearoa. Well, see, there's also further evidence in Melbourne. Iwi leaders just took a visit over there a, a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. and they were really impressed with the way that this private company is running their prison. They, they were talking about, you know, inmates feeling good and, and, and the rehabilitation programs, the cultural programs that they were running, they, they do strongly believe that it can work. Well, I'm sure they went to the better systems there, and I'm sure that they talked to the people that the company enabled them to talk to. Um, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not aware that they had absolute free access to any of the private prisons that were there and to any of the prisoners and the staff who could talk confidentially about what was really going on. So you don't we didn't find it. out about what's happening. In, well, we didn't find out what was happening in Auckland Central Remand until uh, the staff came to us in select committee, and even at that point they were made 
very clearly aware that they were unlikely to get work in that sector ever again because they were whistleblowers. So let's not pretend that um, having a trip around a prison by management of that prison is going to show you what is really happening. We have to start what wrapping we do know up. From sorry. independent reports, it's not happening. We have we to know start from wrapping up. Independent reports that it's not working. And because I want to uh, end, I, I suppose, because you guys, in terms of the urban Māori authorities, are looking at uh, forming some sort of tender with one of these overseas companies. Mm. Um, how's, where's that at at the moment? Well, we've met, with, uh, we've met with the different companies and we've outlined a lot of our concerns that Metidia has been expressing uh, this morning. And uh, there's a lot of what she says that, that's, that's right. But we don't have many options as Māori. We either sit back and let the state put all the uh, options, you know, they run the show for us and we go, yes, Labor, we trust you. Yes, National, we trust you. Or we come up with options in terms of trying to make a difference in terms of our people's lives. And we're determined to do that. And we know the tribes are too. Tuku Morgan and them have been out there. You know, whether we get up or whether the tribes get, get up, it doesn't really matter as long as there's a strong Māori involvement and as long as we're dictating the terms in terms of any contract. Good uh, place to leave it, I think. Um, thank you both for coming in. Materia Tude joining us down there in Dunedin and Willie Jackson. Kilda.